Hello everyone and welcome back to Netball TV. Today we bring you round six, Leeds Rhinos versus the London Pulse. Before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Netball TV. Head on over to our channel and you'll catch lots of the NSL 2024 games as well as netball highlights, player analysis and other netball videos. Netball TV is your Netflix of netball. So let's get into the starting seven for the Leeds Rhinos. And the player I'm most excited to watch today is that defensive powerhouse Jeeva Mentor. The experienced player is going to face some youngsters in the London Pulse squad. Let's take a look at their starting seven. Barry Neal and Olivia Cheen at the back. They are relatively young and inexperienced compared to Mentor. So let's see how those two hold up. And of course... Oh, that dynamic duo of Fadoju and Adio at the back in defense for Pulse. Always a pleasure to watch. So the Pulse have won three out of five games so far with two losses. And the Rhinos have lost four out of five with just one win. So let's find out what happened in this match with our highlights and analysis. Stay tuned, folks, to the end of the game to see the statistics. So Leeds Rhinos get the first center pass and an early shutdown. From London Pulse makes the Rhinos go back. Contact there and a lovely, incredible feed up to Joyce and Vula. Held it in well and passed it to Harriet Jones for the first goal of the game. Skulls there with a nice feed into Cheen and found Barry Neal straight away for a goal for the Pulse. Rhinos again in attack. Oh, that was great work by the defenders. Turn that ball over for London Pulse and it's back down to their attacking end. If they convert this one, which they do, they will get the next centre pass. Okay, time for some analysis. Let's take a look at this Leeds Rhinos defensive pressure. It's called a three over, okay, and they want to create a wall which will force London Pulse to play back, which is a defensive gain. But London Pulse, quite smart, use the ball, move the ball around the court, and Barry Neal pops out the top of the circle. They just work that around and eventually find Cheen for a goal. So the Rhinos will want to score here, but they make a mistake. So Pulse get another turnover early on. It goes straight into Cheen. And just like that, they have a three-goal lead. But take a look at what's going on with the Rhinos' defense. Cheen here is in a great shooting position, chooses to pass it out, and Pauls end up going all the way back to the transverse line, recycling the ball, and just not really making any ground until Barry Neal pops out. They get a contact, so a penalty pass, and Neal finds the goal. So Pauls here dominating so far, early, early days. Do you have a mentor with the touch? Alicia Scholes goes to pick it up, but it's a replay ball. So Rhinos finally get a turnover they need with a great feed in Tim Vula and a shot. Rhinos again in possession. Joyce and Vula finds Harriet Jones with a great drive into the circle and they're starting to crawl their way back. Pulse in attack. Barry Neal, great shooting position and movement from her. She gets the next goal. She's very quick on her feet. Oh, over ball to Chin. She manages to keep it in amazingly and it's picked up by her attackers. And let's take a look at what Barry Neal does here. Watch how she moves that ball all the way back to the transverse line, follows it and just creates that space. She sees that no one's available, bravely puts the ball over and what a drive into the circle it opens up for Cheen. it went out of court but it opened that circle up nicely for her attackers Barry Neal just creating some excellent movement there and moving that ball around finds Cheen and another goal two goals in it here Joyce and Vula at the top of the circle oh she'll have to take that one quickly now let's take a look at this London Pulse attacking play you'll not see Barry Neal at the moment she's out of view but they play exactly the same play as I just showed you before Deep in the pocket, Barry Neal goes back to the transverse line, opens up that space into the pocket, and this time the drive pays off and she gets the feed. Great play from the pulse. Harriet Jones with a long bomb here. Incredible goal from her. Leeds Rhinos here showing you how a great centre pass will equal a goal. Keep it simple, keep it basic, and you'll get those goals. Another great feed into Mvula for another goal. And Rhinos are just one down at the moment. Barry Neal unfortunately overcooked that one to Cheen. She's going to go from long range here. Diva Mentor doing her best to put her off. But she didn't get that goal for a three second hold. Rhinos unfortunately lose that turnover. And it goes back to the London Pulse attackers. So they get a second chance. Cheen with a lovely goal. And Rhinos centre pass. Again another incredible centre pass from the Rhinos. Simple basic netball. Always Cheen doesn't manage to keep it in. So it will be a Rhinos turnover, but they've thrown that ball away again. They had an opportunity there to go one up. And look at that hold from Jeeva Mentor. Incredible defensive work. 
Let's watch that one again in slow motion. Gets her three feet and gets her arm over the ball and holds, holds, holds. And eventually they get the turnover they're looking for and Vula gets the goal. Now we are equal. Just want to turn your attention to the London Pulse defense here. Squeezing the Leeds Rhinos, forcing them to go back, forcing them into small spaces and eventually getting that interception. Great work by Pulse, great turnover for them. If they score here, it'll be on the Rhino centre pass and they will get the next centre pass. So Cheen will get that goal. They have opportunity to get a double here, two goals. And Cheen, another long bomb. Great work from Pulse. Oh, Mvula picked that one up. That was lucky for Rhinos. Pulse thrown it out court there. So Rhinos back line. Can they get that ball down court and into the circle? Great play so far from them to get the ball down the court. And it's fed nicely up to Mvula over the top for a goal. Five seconds left on the clock. Can Leeds Rhinos score one final goal before the end of the first quarter? Time is up. End of the first quarter, 15 goals to Rhinos and 15 to Pulse. Wow, what an exciting game so far. Second quarter underway here. Pulse with the first centre pass. Great hold there. And a lovely... Oh, unfortunately, Cheen couldn't get that one. Jeeva Mentor blocked her. So it'll be a throw-in for Pulse. And Alicia Scholes comes out of nowhere. Uh, doesn't manage to get that one. But let's take a look at the Pulse box here. This defensive unit is solid. They've got their arms up over the ball just maintaining that incredible box with those four players ball side and arms up over the feeder and look at that they've managed to force a deflection rhinos just being patient opening up the circle there and waiting oh i'm lucky for joyce and Vula, but she does pick up the the loose ball and gets a nice goal london pulse here in attack chain going from long range she's shooting excellently so far in this game oh rhinos with an overthrow there Big ball coming into Cheen here, but Jeeva Mentor ooh, comes flying out there. Barry Neal will take the penalty, but Rhinos will get the rebound. So can they score from this turnover? No, they can't. It goes out of court. So Pulse again with this pocket rocket of Alicia Skulls. Watch her speed here. She just kicks up, hits that circle edge, doesn't find anyone. So goes back to the transverse line, takes the ball back and finds Barry Neal and she feeds it into the circle. Incredible work from Pulse Attackers. Let's take a look at the Rhinos attackers. Oh, a lot of contact there in the circle. Referee called that one against Adio, hooking onto the arm of Mvula. So she'll get a penalty pass or shot. Pulse, oh, just overcooked it to Barry Neal. So Rhinos will want to capitalise. Now, let's take a look at this battle going on between Adio and Mvula. It was an offensive contact against Mvula, saying she hooked her arm into Adio's and the ball was given back to Pulse. Another error here from London Pulse, starting to see a bit more frequently now. Uh, Leeds Rhinos get that turnover. Oh, that was a big ball up. Unfortunately, defenders got a ball for contact, so Rhinos got the goal. And again, Harriet Jones gonna go from long range, makes that shot. Oh, we're 20 all here. Barry Neal with an incredible hands. Wow, what a goal. Let's have a look at that again. Look at her hold there. She pulled that one in nicely. So we see Brie Grierson coming to the court for Alicia Scholes. There's seven minutes left and a turnover for Pulse. Great work there from the captain Zara Everett. And it'll be a nice easy shot for Olivia Cheen to go two goals up. And Pulse again in attack. She's going to go from long range this time. Cheen, will she make it? Oh, it's a rebound for the Rhinos. They'll want to turn over this ball and convert. Let's see if they can do that. Oh, another steal from Everett. Look at that again. She followed her all the way and eventually came up with the ball. Barry Neal, another shot. Pulse sliding edge away here. Oh, that was a good tussle between Mentor and Cheen. Rhinos came up with the ball though. Can they get it down through the court? Oh, Cheen with another steal. Now, let's take a look at that. Jeeva Mentor going offside to collect the ball. Now, that is a new rule that players can go offside to collect the ball if it does speed up the play. Oh, Rhinos just overcooked that one a little bit, but Jason Buller was there to pick it up and it's being batted out of court again. Rhinos here struggling to find it into the circle at the moment. Joyce and Vula, oh, she hesitated, but luckily penalty pass for them. Oh, adio. Now it's hard to see this next part, but there is an attacking contact against the goal attack. So Pulse came out with possession there and it was straight into Cheen, but Jeeva Mentor was there to stop it. Let's see if Brie Grayson can get it into the circle. Great ball up to Cheen and she will get that goal. Now, the mis mistake here from Rhinos, they couldn't keep that ball in play, so Pulse came up with the turnover. 
There are three goals in it here with three minutes to go. Chin going from middle of the circle to get that goal. And Pulse in attack again. Chin or replayed ball. So Rhinos have another opportunity to turn over, but they've lost the ball again. Mvula was not happy with that call. Can London Pulse score from this turnover? Barry Neal, the baseline queen, gets that goal. These Rhinos have one minute on the clock. What can they do here to make that gap smaller? But nothing much if they're going to turn over the ball like that. London Pulse, incredible work from Zara Everett again. Third steal of the quarter. And London Pulse will want to capitalise. Oh, quick hands there between Chief of Mentor, Olivia Cheen with another goal. 20 seconds on the clock, great feed into Cheen, and it is half time here. And I want to draw your attention to the first quarter and second quarter score. Rhino's only scoring seven goals that quarter. That is not good enough at this level. Let's see what they can do in the third quarter. Can Rhino's make an epic comeback or will Pulse run away with this game? Third quarter, make or break one of these teams. Let's see, oh, we have a change here. Teliard has come on replacing Barry Neal in the goal attack position. First goal for London Pulse leads Rhinos in position here. Oh, and it was a contact with Zoe Davis' butt. <laughs> Rhinos lost their centre pass there, so Pulse will want to score from this one, and hopefully they will go three goals up at the beginning of this quarter. Teliard with a miss. So it's turned over by the Rhinos' defence. Oh, and that was great by Fadoju. Unfortunately, it was a contact, so Rhinos will get that goal there. Pulse centre pass. Oh, too much on that one. So Rhinos will want to capitalise on this opportunity. Can they score? Oh, not if Adio wants to stop them, but it was brought back for a contact. So Rhinos have another chance with Mvula. She's been scoring excellently so far. Oh, that was a big, big jump for her. And great work from the centre. Rhinos did come out with the ball in the end. Can they get it down the court? Oh, not if Brie Grierson has anything to do with it. She stole the ball back from Rhinos. So Teliard with the jump puts it to Cheen and they get that goal. Rhinos, oh, great feed into Mvula. Very, very strong hold for her. Bit of a battle going on between her and Fadoju. There will be a penalty pass or a shot, so Rhinos get that goal. Taliad puts it over to Chin, but Givamento picks it up, and Rhinos with another turnover in defence. Can they score from this one? Oh, again, for Doju. Put it straight into the hands of Mvula, though. But Rhinos are making a comeback with another interception here. Look at that. Oh, but it was a contact as she was coming through. So Pulse will get the ball back. Taliad going for the shot. Oh, great work from her. Oh, that was a big jump, but the ref called it as a footwork. Let's watch that one again. Little skip there before she did her jump. So, Rhinos will have an advantage here. Mvula, very, very strong against the defenders for Pulse. Rhinos center pass. Oh, that was a great ball into Mvula and great hands for a Rhinos goal. Cheen with an excellent goal from range. Rhinos center pass, just too much on that one. Couldn't keep it in. So, London Pulse get this turnover and... Oh, Chin there made a mistake, so Rhinos get that opportunity back to score from their centre pass. They'll want to make the most of this one. Oh, great feet by Mvula. Ref didn't call a contact, so the play continued. Now, Barry Neal has come on and Olivia Chin has gone off for London Pulse. So, leads Rhinos here. Another goal from Mvula. They are slowly catching up. London Pulse have a lot of work to do. Oh, great goal there from Zoe Davis. Quick hands there by Brie Grierson and Talia gets a goal. Rhinos, great shot down and it was a contact against her. She just pushed off the back of Barry Neal so London Pulse get a turnover but immediately back into the hands of Leeds Rhinos. They're working super hard this quarter, winning that ball and converting and scoring off the turnovers. Great work by all the players for Rhinos in this quarter. Oh, that was lovely, lovely play by the attackers. Found it into the circle. Pulse with a mistake. The ball went out of court. So Rhinos with another chance here to put another goal on the board. Mvula so strong on that jump. And she will get that goal again. Oh, look at that steal from Pulse. Will they want to score from this one? Barry Neal on the baseline. She's going to go from long range. And she makes that shot. Beautiful goal for Barry Neal. Taliard, another jump in. Puts it over the top to Barry Neal and she gets a goal. Nice from London Pulse. Clever play. Oh, that's a miss, but she does pick up the rebound. So Leeds Reynolds will be happy with that one. What a quarter. Let's compare. In this quarter, they scored 15 goals to London Pulse's 11. 
So this is turning into quite the match. Into the fourth quarter we go, and there's just three goals in it. London Pulse have three goals advantage. Oh, that's a turnover for Pulse on a Rhino centre pass. So they'll want to score from this one. To just, Oh, that was a bit of a contact, so they'll get a penalty pass or shot. Barry Neal with a shot. Pulse edging away here, five-goal gap. Rhinos, oh, that was a bit of a contact for Doju's left. Oh, that was a huge smash. Both players coming into the same space. Adil just checking in on her. Oh, that was a huge knock. So here the umpire is just suggesting that she takes to the side of the court and is substituted for a possible concussion. So Rhinos have got their new goal attack coming to the court. Emma McGee will replace Harriet Jones. London Pulse here in attack. And that was a nice one too from Talia. She steps in though. To Jiva Mentor's huge. Oh, unlucky for Jiva Mentor there. She'll get the goal though, Teliard. And first shot of the game. And it's a miss, unfortunately. So London Pulse will get that turnover. Oh, great steal from Rhinos. They'll want to convert this one. But it's turned over by Fadoju. Straight back into the hands of Rhinos. But that was a contact for some reason against her. So London Pulse do get that one. Teliard with a huge step in. And a miss from her. But it was a contact against Barry Neal. So London Pulse lose that one. And Rhinos will pick it up. There's quite a lot of contact so far in this final quarter. Both teams desperate to win this game. So Mvula tidies it up with a nice shot. Pulse have got a four goal buffer here. But it's turned over by Mentor. So Rhinos get that steal. They'll want to all oh, for Doju. Exactly the same as Mentor. Mentor got pulled for contact there. So, unfortunately, another steal from Pulse here. They are five goals up. Oh, that was great, great work. Unfortunately, couldn't pull that one off. So, goes back to the hands of Pulse. Another step in from Talliard and a goal from Barry Neal. Pulse in attack. They have six goals. Oh, that was a huge ball up to no one. <laughs> so, Rhinos will turn over into Mvula and she will get the goal. Oh, great, great work there from Adio. She came out to get that one. London Pulse in attack. Olivia Chin takes to the court again. So Talliard on the bench. Nice one, two, two, Chin. And a great goal from long range. Leeds Rhinos in attack. Just trying to put that ball in the circle. Pass to Adion for Doju. Oh, up to Mvula. She's so strong. And a nice easy pass under the post. And a goal for Emma McGee. London Pulse in attack. Will Barry Neal go from long range? Will she give it to Olivia Chin? Yes, she does. Now, here, Jiva Mentor gets a warning for consistent contact. And that's not what you want to see in a game. If she gets another call against her, she will be sent to the bench. It was a little bit harsh, I think, from the umpire. But Leeds Rhinos decided to take off Jiva Mentor in this final three minutes. Looks like Pulse is running away with it here. They have a seven-goal lead with just three minutes to go. Mvula will put another goal in, though. They are not giving up. Oh, and it's a steal for Rhinos with their replacement goalkeeper. Great start for her. Rhinos not giving up just yet. They've got six goals to count for. And Mvula will make that five goals. Rhinos again really, really pushing. It's not impossible for them to score five goals in two minutes. Now four. Pulse. Oh, another steal. But luckily for them... <laughs> for Pulse, it stays in the hands and Barry Neal scores that one. Just edging away those goals. Oh, Rhinos with a pick up. Is she going to score from long range? Yes, she is. Rhinos do not want to give up. Oh, that's a mistake there from Autumn. So Rhinos will capitalize on this. Can they use that one minute? Oh, turnover from Pulse. Heartbreaking for Leeds Rhinos. They feel the game slipping away from them. But another mistake here from Pulse. So Rhinos get the ball back in their attacking third. They'll want to put the ball quickly into the goal and see if they can just chip away. 25 seconds and going from long range here. And she gets that shot. Rhinos center pass. 10 seconds left on the clock. Oh, unfortunately for Mvula, out of court. Oh, and it's a steal straight into Mvula. And she will finish the game on a goal. Great, great work from both teams in that final quarter. So exciting. Unfortunately for Rhinos, not quite making up the difference. Pulse win 51 goals to 49. Let's take a look at the quarterly breakdown here of the scores. And we know that second and third quarter were the most interesting. And let's have a look at some statistics now. Pretty evenly matched here. More penalties for Leeds Rhinos. Jeeva Mentor did get a warning in the end. Great shooting percentage though for the Rhinos. Good number of deflections, intercepts and pickups for Pulse. 
and just a few unforced errors from both teams in this round so that's it folks that's the end of the game please don't forget to like and subscribe to netball tv for more awesome netball content netball tv is your netflix of netball